hello again and welcome to Pointed. It's Point Global's video blog where we provide exclusive content to our clients and stakeholders. Um, it is a client who only blog. We'll share some elements of this um, to our social media audience, but for the full um, video, you have to subscribe to our newsletter. Uh, we look at everything from marketing trends uh, to digital transformation to the business process overall, and we are specifically focused on emerging businesses. Today, we are talking about strategic um, planning and how do you action strategic planning in a business environment. Now, I want to start off by defining strategic planning for our audience. Strategic planning is a series of plans and action designed to achieve a long-term goal. Now, I'm going to repeat that um, so we understand what we're talking about. Strategic planning is a series of plans and action designed to achieve a long-term goal. That's what strategy is. Uh, for businesses, uh, every business has a strategic plan that they're working to. Sometimes that strategic plan is on paper, undocumented. Other times it is in the visionary's head. And by visionary, I mean the person who is running um, or controlling the business. But there are some keys to achieving um, good strategy and good planning, and I'm going to be discussing those in today's blog. The first um, rule about um, thinking and planning strategically is to know and observe trends. And I'll be quoting uh, a lot of the work done by the Harvard Business Review on strategic planning in looking at this. Now, if you're going to think um, strategically, uh, because you're planning for the long term, what is important is that you are able to look at what are the strategic trends that are in the marketplace um, and what, what's the world going to be uh, for the timeline that you're planning for. Now, for, for most businesses, most businesses either they plan in cycles. So when you're looking at strategic planning, you have to look at what business cycle are you looking to plan uh, within. And then you have to basically project yourself into that future to see what are the trends that are currently existing in the marketplace that will drive what will happen in the future. So for strategic planning, we're looking at what kind of future is ahead of us. If we're looking to say in five years, I would like my business to be here, you have to ask yourself, okay, what will the world look like in five years? So it requires um, some future scenario planning strategy to get to that. So if you're looking now and you say, okay, self-driving car is a big trend. Will, will this take off in the future or will it not take off in the future? Now, I have found that um, in order to do these sessions properly, what you have to do is actually take maybe two um, divergent standpoints. Because as you know, um, if you, you have uh, um, different trends that will drive what happens in the business cycle. Um, for example, you have, you, what is happening now with COVID um, or what has happened with COVID is that it has disrupted the normal business environment that people are using um, to work in. So what, if you're planning strategically and looking at the trend, you, I, I think it's important to develop two um, oppos opposing scenarios to see, okay, what will happen from a business standpoint. Um, so, for example, you can pick a standpoint where say, in five years, uh, self-driving cars will be a major factor in the transport sector. Or you will say, okay, in five years, I don't think self-driving cars will be a major factor. And then if that affects your business, you can plan from there. So the first um, kind of rule about um, planning strategically is because you're looking in the future, you have to project into the future and look at what trends might drive the future. Now, how do you look at what trends might drive the future? It is important that you know that we operate in an environment that is impacted by different things happening at different levels. You have the political that is happening, you have the technological, you have the social that is also um, happening, and you have the environmental factors. So I like to use the pests. It's called pest analysis to look at what will affect your business. Now, it's, it's important to, for me to look at those, um, but you can use a SWOT um, or an, an analysis tool to kind of give you what you're looking at. Now, the reason why I use PES is because I find that those four 
um, factors really are the ones that are driving trends for almost every business. It's either a political factor, an environmental factor, a social factor, or a technological factor, or all three of them combined. So if you're looking in the future and looking at a, a specific thing that will affect your business when you're planning strategically, it's important to use these analysis tools like a SWOT or a PES um, analysis to uh, project yourself and say, okay, what is happening in each of these that will impact the, the future scenario that I'm seeing for my business? The next thing um, you have to do is ask yourself tough questions. A lot of us think that our business is Teflon, but in reality, your business is impacted by so much things. So if you're future planning, you have to say, what will affect my business? You know, how will my business be affected? And then you have to plan uh, for that and ask yourself tough questions. Is my cash flow prepared for a major um, social change? Is my business processes um, prepared for a major social change? Is my team members properly trained to take advantage of a technological tool? You have to ask yourself those tough questions if you're planning for the future. The next thing that is important is that is what the Harvard Business Review calls sound strategy or speaking strategy. Now, if you have a business and you're driving strategy, it is important that you voice that strategy. You have to give voice to it. You have to give voice to it in your business operation. Your stakeholders have to understand the strategy and they have to be a part of the strategy. And you have to speak the strategic language in right now to move forward in the future. After you have understood the trends and do your future planning and looking at those trends and picking what is a good outcome versus what is a, uh, an, uh, an outcome that is not so ideal, um, and then you go from there, what happens? It's important to speak um, strategy. So internally in your organization, you want to communicate um, and speak to what these goals are. It should be always a part of discussion around the, 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 the moves that you're going to be making as a manager, as a business owner, as a CEO. If those things aren't informing your decision and informing how you approach decision making in the, around the table, around the meeting room, then um, what is the point of the strategy? So it's important to look at those trends and, and, and speak Whenever you're planning for any short-term decision making, look at what your long-term ideal position for the business is and, and go from there. The final point is around your actions. Now, it's important to embrace strategic actions. So you, you will always be scanning the horizon for what brings you closer to your goal. And the Harvard Business Review uh, puts this in a very nice way. It says, make time for strategic thinking so and embrace conflict so that you can act appropriately so what it is speaking to is always confronting your organization and being prepared to confront your organization with the realities and challenge the conventional thinking be be, be willing to to embrace friction to arrive at, at strong strategic action so the harvard business review calls it knowing thinking speaking, acting. So knowing, thinking, speaking, acting. At Point Global, we action that through our, our, our mantra, which is think, create, integrate. Um, so that's so for, for us when we are working on uh, strategic marketing and strategic objectives and innovation projects for businesses, we are using a three-step pro um, process that we call think, create, integrate to ensure that we deliver uh, on that promise. Now, for us, the thinking process involves looking at trends and backing up that with data insight and research. Um, so that's how, where the thinking process uh, for us starts. Um, then we, are, we, we, we go into our creating process. Now our creating process is a, a process um, around empathy. It's a, it's a process around design thinking. It's around trying to understand where the customer trends are and working with the customers to ensure that these customer trends are clear uh, and, 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 and always in the forefront of our mind. So that's what the creating process is. And then our integration process is also to challenge our own assumption to say, okay, so we think this way is the right way, but what else could prevent that from happening? Is it a budget constraint? Is it a technology constraint? Is it a people constraint? Or is it a general resource constraint? And then once we have 
figured out that, uh, those things. We're looking for the gaps and then covering, uh, using prevailing technology and resources to, to um, mitigate and bridge those gaps so that we can do it strategically. So again, just to summarize, for strategic thinking, it's around actions and plans that lead to long-term outcomes. So that's what strategic thinking is about. Um, the Harvard uh, Business Re Review um, talk about knowing, thinking, speaking, and acting. Point Global does that through a series of process called Think, Create, Integrate. And the key behind that is one, understanding the trend, two, future planning, scenario planning, uh, where you pick two desperate scenarios that you think are projections into the future for, for, for where you, you think your marketplace is going to be, your company is going to be, and then using that um, to challenge internal assumptions about your business and um, making strategic decisions about your business using that. And then you finally, acting in a way that actions those strategic actions. Um, again, if you want to know more information on how do we achieve strategic planning um, at Point Global, visit our website. It's www.pointglobalmarketing.com or www.pointgm.com. And uh, we have a page um, called Consult. Reach out to us. We do free consultations and we'll be happy to talk to you about how we achieve strategic tre um, trends and how do we plan and act strategically for your business. Um, thank you for joining me for Pointed and it's great talking to you.